वेलकम टू सुजित्रा स्टार्टर सिक्स क्लासेस इफ टी इज एन अनबायस्ड एस्टिमेटर ऑफ टीटा टी स्क्वायर इज ए बायस्ड एस्टिमेटर ऑफ टीटा स्क्वायर बट इफ टी इज ए कंसिस्टेंट एस्टिमेटर ऑफ टीटा देन टी स्क्वायर इज आल्सो ए कंसिस्टेंट एस्टिमेटर ऑफ theta square if t is a unbiased estimator of theta we know that e of t equal to theta and we want to show that e of t square not equal to theta square that is we want to show that t square is a biased estimator of theta square for showing e of t square not equal to theta square let us write variance of t which is equal to expectation of t square minus expectation of t all square we know that variance of t is always greater than 0 therefore e of t square minus e of t all square is greater than 0 That is, e of t square minus theta square greater than zero, since e of t is equal to theta. That is, e of t square is greater than theta square. That is, e of t square not equal to theta square. Therefore, t square is a biased estimator of theta square so the first part is proved now we are moving to the second part if t is a consistent estimator of theta t square is a consistent estimator of theta square we know that probability of mod t minus theta less than epsilon tends to 1 as n tends to infinity or we can write this as limit n tends to infinity probability of mod t minus theta less than epsilon tends to 1 that is limit n tends to infinity let us remove this modulus sign so we will get p of Minus epsilon less than t minus theta less than epsilon tends to one. Add theta to all these three functions, then we will get limit n tends to infinity probability of minus epsilon plus theta less than t less than epsilon plus theta tends to one. that is limit n tends to infinity probability of theta minus epsilon less than t less than theta plus epsilon tends to 1 squaring all the terms under the probability we will get limit n tends to infinity probability of theta minus epsilon all square less than t square less than theta plus epsilon all square tends to 1 that is n tends to infinity probability of expand this theta square minus 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square less than t square less than theta square plus 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square tends to 1 we are going to prove that t square is a consistent estimator of theta square so we need to prove that limit n tends to infinity p of mod t square minus theta square less than epsilon tends to 1 for proving this result we are going to subtract theta square within the 
bracket. So we will get limit n tends to infinity p of minus 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square. That is when we are subtracting theta square from this one we will get minus 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square less than t square minus theta square less than 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square tends to 1. If t square is a consistent estimate of theta square, we know that we can rewrite that as p of mod t square minus theta square less than epsilon epsilon or epsilon 1. Let us designate another smallest arbitrary number say epsilon 1 tends to 1 as n tends to infinity. We are going to reach at this expression. For reaching this expression we want to get a number in the form of minus a here and plus a. Then only we can write in this format. For getting that number we are going to do some operation here. Minus 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square is less than t square minus theta square. So if you are subtracting a positive number from this minus 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square there won't be any change in this inequality. Therefore minus 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square minus 2 epsilon square we are subtracting minus 2 epsilon square from this minus 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square for our convenience less than t square minus theta square. That is when we are taking a minus sign outside we can rewrite this as 2 theta epsilon epsilon square minus 2 epsilon square is minus epsilon square. So plus epsilon square less than t square minus theta square. Now we are going to replace minus 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square instead of minus 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square. Therefore, limit n tends to infinity p of minus 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square less than t square minus theta square less than 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square tends to 1. So this is in the form of p of minus a less than t less than a which is equal to p of mod t less than or equal to a. So let us rewrite this expression as limit n tends to infinity p of mod t square minus theta square less than 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square tends to 1. This 2 theta epsilon plus epsilon square is again a small arbitrary number. Let us name that as epsilon 1. Therefore, limit n tends to infinity p of mod t square minus theta square less than epsilon 1 tends to 1. Therefore, this satisfies the condition for consistency 
therefore t square is a consistent estimator of theta square thank you thank you for watching this video